Thank you. Gentlemen. This is a terrible plan. Complete failure. Two hours later. Look, I honestly don't know why you're so pissed off with you exactly as you asked us to do. Yes, when clearly you should still be both coming back from the island. Would you like to tell me why you're both here early? You know volcanoes. Yes, I know volcanoes. Well, it turns out that erupting volcanoes when you're there and not here on your billion dollar mansion are actually quite scary. They spit rocks and ash and everything up in the air and you get it in your eyes and shit? Yeah, at one point, a rock spat out of the volcano the size of a small Volvo and landed right next to us, crushing our sandwich box. We were planning a picnic? A picnic? You were both sent in to advise my team. We did give them advice. Oh, really? What advice was that? Get back on the boat, you morons. Spoiler alert, they didn't listen. You said you would help if we sent you to that island. No, we said we would help you, yes, but we didn't say anything about going into any jungle. We feel like us warning them not to leave the beach was help enough. You were being paid! <laughs> I don't know how much you were paying us, but it certainly wasn't enough to cover the damage caused to our bodies after a volcano melts the skin off our shin bones. <laughs> you see, we actually like the skin on our shins very much. Yeah, exactly. That's why we let your men go into the jungle. We went home on the boat. Yes, I read the report, and it's because of you two we didn't get all the species that we wanted off of that island. W what species were you missing? We would like to have captured a brontosaurus, if possible. I guess Daddy didn't buy him enough ponies growing up. <laughs> Is that what you think rich people do? We just ride Spanish stallions all day and drink champagne? Just don't try and lie about the horses, because we went out back and we saw them. We fed them polo mints. Polo mints? They have sensitive stomachs. If you feed them that, they'll, they could die. Their stomachs will bloat. How much did you give them? One. Oh my god. I'll, I'll deal with this later. Well, I'll cry about it. If it's dead, just get that little clean you a new one. My father is dead, I have you know. Look, look. We can debate this all we want, but we know where this is going. You're gonna need us when you need to build another bastard park. What do you mean? Well, that's what you said. You said that we were getting them off the island so you could build another bastard park, yes? No, actually. The dinosaurs are being kept downstairs in the basement, here at the manor, and we are planning to auction them off to the highest bidder. When will you people learn? The first Jurassic Park was amazing, but a small hiccup in the power was able to release these creatures, killing everyone in the park. Only a few survivors remain. Next, a T-Rex gets loose into the city after you try and take the dinosaurs off the island the first time. Multiple casualties. You then successfully create a new park. And we have learned so much about every species. We were able to house them carefully. So then what do you do? You build a new one that was faster, stronger, and even fucking invisible, apparently, since life finds a way, all right? And now you're bringing them off the island again. And you're going to auction them off like they're Nikes on eBay. What's your point? Nike shoes won't rip your dick off and eat it. You do realise all the dinosaurs in the basement right now, they're going to break out and kill everyone. The basement has been upgraded. And will hold the beasts. Hello? What's going on? Dinosaurs have escaped. No! Shut the fuck up! No way! Didn't see that coming. <laughs> There's really no need. Uh, the dinosaurs will just be looking for a way out of the basement at this point. I don't think they're actually looking to Oh yes, yes, he's fucking dead. Let's go. Grab your things. <laughs>